Uh, so I'm seeing the, in, the, uh, in the comments, people are saying that uh, you've got to cover your ass. Cover your ass. Now, what I'm saying to you is that Trump inadvertently created a situation where you can cover your ass, but also be completely honest and transparent. I'm not lying when I say that Trump did something very bad this week, and if people want to impeach him for it, I'm not going to argue with it. Does that sound like a lie? Do I sound dishonest when I say that? Because it's a pretty popular opinion. (laughs) I don't know why you would disbelieve that. Now, it just happens to cover my ass. Now, am I? do I feel bad that the truth also somehow helps me? No, I don't feel bad about it. Why should I feel bad that the truth went my way in a, in a small way? Uh, they are making him disappear, and that is, it is amazing to watch it happen. Uh, you said fair. Oh, I said fair is uh, BS. Yeah, I use the word fair in casual conversation while also believing that it's not a real thing. But you know what fair means. In, in the context I use it, it means that uh, reasonable people would look at it and say, ah, okay. That, that's, that's all I mean. There's no such thing as actual fairness, but there is a situation where human beings will look at a situation and say, ah, that's okay. Somebody says, you're a coward, Scott. You're a fucking idiot. <laughs> I'll tell you, if you've watched me for four years and you think I'm a coward... You're a fucking idiot. So maybe, maybe catch up a little bit and find out what I've been up to. Uh, that's one of the dumbest opinions on earth right now. Um, you're buying into the scam. Which one? Did you see the BLML rioter that was in the Capitol? Yeah, I don't disbelieve that there were some uh, bad elements who were not MAGA people, but obviously there were plenty of MAGA people who made it into the Capitol. Um, it is wrong, somebody says in capitals. Uh, wait till these big tech companies start using our private DMs and emails against us. Well, I assume that's going to happen. That, fe- that feels inevitable. If you've sent anything by DM or private message, uh, I, you have to assume that that's all discoverable. My, my uh, sort of ongoing approach for the last several years, anyway, is that I don't say anything privately that I would that would end me if if it were public. And I say I say bad things publicly in terms of, you know, there could be some things that I wouldn't say in public, I'll say privately, but none of them would end my career. They're not that bad. Um what the jackals are doing to Trump is horrible. It is. Yeah, the Wall Street Journal says Trump isn't guilty of incitement and I agree. From a legal perspective, I don't think you can say that anything he said was incitement. What I'm saying is he should have known as a leader that it would have an unintended effect, that the way he was talking would have the unintended effect. So if you looked at what he intended and you look at what he did, there's no mistake. If you ask yourself, should a leader have known that those things he did, which were technically accurate and legal and okay, that even though they were technically okay, should he have known it was going to lead to what it led to? And the answer is yes. As a leader, he should have known that even though he didn't break any laws, it was going to lead to something like that. Excellent question here. Do you, have you noticed that we've all been trained to think past the sale? The sale is that the election was fine. If the election was fine, this is the official narrative, and as you know, I pledged allegiance to it earlier, If the official narrative is also true, then what Trump is doing is quite destructive, and uh, it would look that way. If it turned out, and we can't know this, there's no way to know, but hypothetically, just as a mental experiment, let's say that the election, hypothetically, no evidence of this that I've seen, or at least no proof of it, uh, let's say it was illegitimate. Then if you were to look at the president's actions, they look a lot different, don't they? What if President Trump is the only one who's right? What if he's the only one who's right? Now, of course, many of you would be right, too, if you think there was something wrong with the election in that scenario. But in terms of the official narrative, what if Trump's the only one who's right? Um, You can't rule that out. Because have there been other situations where Trump was the only one who was right? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, there have been. Right. If he did not have a history 
of fairly frequently being the only one who was right, I would say you wouldn't have to worry about that. But he does have that history of going against the crowd and being right. Being right. <laughs> I, like, I like this comment. Buzz your girlfriend. Woof. <laughs> She's my wife. Um, you have disappointed us all. I'm sorry, Jerry French, that I've disappointed you. Can you tell me what exactly you're disappointed in? <laughs> Could you be more specific? <laughs> 